So here we have a problem, 71 and 28 hundredths divided by 12. You see here I have a toolbox. It's set up a bit differently than if I were using the partial quotient method. So I have 12 times 1, 12 times 2, all the way down to 12 times 9. Uh, this is the normal algorithm that many of us have seen before. So I first look at this. If I, have, if I look at the tens place, there are seven tens. So I think, well, if I have this, seven, how many groups of 12 can I get? And the answer is zero. I then move over to 71. If I have 71, how many groups of 12 can I get? Well, looking over here at my toolbox, I see that 12 times 6 is 72 and that's a little bit too high. So I have to go to the one above it, which is 12 times 5, and that equals 60. So I'm going to put my 5 quotient up here. 5 times 12 is 60. I then subtract, and that leaves me with 11. Since 11 is less than 12, I'm on the right track. Now I have this decimal point here. I need to keep it in the same exact location. So I make sure that my decimal point is there. I just put it above it. Now I take the 2 and I bring that down, making it 112. If I have 112, how many groups of 12 can I get? Again, looking over here, I notice that 12 times 9 equals 108. 9 times 12 is 108, and I subtract. This leaves me with 4. Then I have my hundredths place, so I bring that down, and I'm left with 48. I see that 12 times 4 equals 48. So I put the 4 above. 4 times 12 is 48. I then subtract and I'm left with nothing.